Hello friends, this is Jasu Bakuhatsu bringing you this uh, Dota 2 training thingy that they uh, just put into the client to this patch. Uh, so yeah, with the latest patch, which I guess was released either today or yesterday or some t time since the last time I fired up Dota 2, they've implemented some more tutorials into the game. Um, ooh, that, and we, we got some... Yeah, I guess some different control sets to f choose from. This is new since the last time they sort of added the first tutorial in here, so... Okay, so I guess... Is this how people actually normally use their items? I, I sort of prefer mine Han style, the alt. Q-W-E-A-S-D. I guess it would, there would be some added convenience, but... Oh, or will it fuck up my configuration? I'm gonna just use my... I'm assuming that used current config means my current settings. So yeah, we'll just keep it the way it is, just in case selecting one of those will screw up my controls. But yeah, that's cool that they give you sort of a few different options there for new players to just sort of see some of the common control setups that are out there. So yeah, that's, that's a good addition. I like that. And so what we're... I didn't see any options for any of the new ones. I understand that they added like two or three more tutorials now. This is the first one that they added a while ago. I played I played through this one back when it was first released. So I guess, you know, always good to just sort of refresh ourselves on the basics. Okay, getting a bit slow down. Okay. As you can see, there's a little bit of a storyline going on here. Razor just messing with our creeps here, and we don't like that. They were our buddies, and we must now go and avenge them. Over here. Okay. And yeah, so here we've got just learning just sort of the basic controls. And is he gonna move your mouse to the edge of the screen, or hold down the middle mouse button? Um, yeah. Middle mouse button is something... I, I don't really like the way middle mouse button dragging works. I wish it worked more like it does in StarCraft 2. Uh, StarCraft 2 has really awesome, uh, the way that the moving the map works with, like that. It's sort of like... It, it's almost as if it, like, sort of... It, it, it doesn't, like... The way this works, you sort of click and drag the map around. Sort of like it were, like, a PDF file or something. The way it works in StarCraft... And, oops, I'm taking some creep aggro here. Oh uh, yeah, the way it works in StarCraft is it's it like it's like as if your no, I'm not gonna get this last hit. It's as if your mouse had moved to the edge of the screen. So if I were to like hold down the mouse button and move my mouse to the right, the screen wouldn't move to the left. It would move to the right, and that that was just really good. It would save you a lot of trouble, like moving your mouse all the way to the edge of the screen. And I I wish there were an option to do that in Dota 2 because that's just always been my favorite way to sort of move the map around. In uh. I guess RTS games in general. Follow us to the watchtower. Okay. Er, uh, don't want you feeding gold to the enemy, little buddy. You must die for the greater good. Ha! No gold or experience for this lone dire creep here. I, 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 I kind of don't like the bias against, you know, the radiant team that they're throwing at you here. Or against the dire team, rather. It's like, why do the Radiants got to be, like, you know, the default, the good guys in the Radiant tutorial? Why can't you play as the Dire? Why can't you choose one side or the other? It's like, they're, the Dire team, they're, they're not bad guys. They're just, you know, trying to make a living, just like any of us. And why did you come back out here? All right, yeah. Tutorial, that's right. We actually have to do things that they tell us. This one is right for f good. I am really impressed with my last hitting so far. This game. If if only. Keeper of the light. Okay. And yeah, I, I really like how they uh, included. Or I guess we won't see keeper of the light quite yet. We're gonna learn how to. Um, F4. That's not right. It really should. Or is that right? Oh wow, it is. I didn't think I. Cause yeah, my my shop is bound to B. Oh well. Stout shield. I don't know if... Or that's probably a good item for... Dragon Knight. For all I know. But I don't want to use it. 
I'm at full health. Why would I use a healing salve? They're not going to let me progress if I don't, though. That's a bad way to use healing salves. It's much better if you uh, use your keyboard shortcuts. That's a, sort of a pet peeve of mine in a lot of RTS tutorials, is there's like a strong bias towards like them telling you to click the mouse to use a thing and... Okay. Oh, nice. I forgot about this. So they are telling you how to use it properly. And this I actually do want to use for real, because I am running... Actually, not really. I could have probably cast another Breathe Fire there before using this. Uh, but I'll need more gold. Ah, the bird talks. If that is a bird. Hard to tell with the crappy, crappy graphic settings I'm using right now. Okay, three neutral camps. Where might the neutral camps be found? I do not have a mini-map. Okay. I'm gonna, or this guy has like some kind of aura. No, a speed aura. But whatever, I'll kill him first anyways, just for the hell of it. Because yeah, it would have been nice to save myself for like this here jungling expedition. Taking some damage here. Gonna take some more damage. Go into the next couple camps. This this will help quite a bit. Dragon Blood. I have never actually played Dragon Knight in a proper PvP game. In fact, I don't think I've even... I don't know if I've ever even actually played him in a co-op game either. I don't think I've ever played... Actually, yeah, I don't think I've ever played Dragon Knight except in this here tutorial. So yeah, maybe I'll have to remedy that, that sometime soon. Yeah, it doesn't look like they've done anything to revise the first tutorial at all. I, I sort of had some of the same complaints with it that I've seen a lot of other people have. Just that it's kind of really... just kind of boring. Auto-attacking creeps over and over again. It's like, yeah, I don't know that we really need to kill three jungle camps to get the idea of what it means to farm creeps for gold. I think it would have been good enough if they'd have just given us, like, I don't know. I don't know. But then again, I guess the, the counter-argument, then, is that if they just, like, give you a bunch of gold for killing one camp, give you, like, a bracer's worth of gold from, like, one small camp, that sort of might give new players the wrong idea about, sort of, how quickly gold accumulates in this game. Or I guess it's, yeah, gauntlet's worth. Actually, I, I should have had it of... Oh, right, the money I got. Actually, I don't think any of the last hits I got count whatsoever, like, before this point. The ca last hits I got coming towards the shop. Right, I know. Oh, do they want me to go back into the jungle? Again, there's sort of no mini-map. This way. Okay, I, rem I remember how this goes now. I thought this was where I wanted to go. Yeah, I, I think it was kind of a cool trick, them pairing Coddle with you. So that, yeah, it speed, sort of speeds up the tedium of this part. Because, yeah, you, you can farm these waves much faster. There's a Breathe Fire, which you can spam endlessly. Coddle? Seriously, dude? I gotta fight you for last hits? Oh, so much for uh, so much for my good last hitting. I, I thought I remembered Coddle like not actually doing anything last time I played this. And can you give me some mana here, Chakra, please? I think it should be off cooldown by now. Okay, yeah. See now, now he's being a good, good dude, not interfering with our farm this time. I guess he, he was busy talking to us. It's, I know how it can be hard to talk and concentrate on your play sometimes. So maybe he just forgot to stop auto-attacking while he was talking to us. Okay, looks like he won't he won't help me out until I'm low on mana. Oh, I've earned enough for a circlet. Awesome. the circlet to further boost my attributes. I think I'll do that. Get a bracer. Okay. And that's... How much is the bracer recipe? 
Ah, who cares, I'll just keep farming gold until they tell me I'm done. Um, Coddle, can I get some mana here, buddy? Old buddy, old pal? No? You don't have to. Put you out of misery. It, it'd be nice, but you don't have to. I'll just wait for my mana to replenish itself. Point nine at a time. Okay, that helps. What is, what is the cooldown? Yeah. Or no, that's 45 mana. 18 second cooldown on here. I think you could... Oh, God. Coddle. 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 Coddle! That was, a, that was my Metal Gear Solid scream. I don't know if you guys have played that game. Your guy, your your buddies, your backup crew screams "coddle" over and over again on your codec every time you die. Ah, I've earned enough for bracers. I'll just get a couple more last hits. Maybe get some, enough for I don't know. Uh, what can I buy for? So bracers, or did they say 190? That will give me enough. I bet you they won't even. What? Who does this? Who seriously does this? Okay, left click, right click, and I can also buy it directly, like a normal person. And I also have enough left over to buy myself. Okay, time to level up. Because, yeah, my, my cuddle buddy here, who stupidly tanked some creeps there, Probably could use a salve right at this moment, and I would sure like to give him one. Oh well, maybe that that would be a neat twist if they like altered, if they like altered the uh, the t first tutorial to make like a like a little surprise for you, dramatic surprise. Coddle dies in the end. That would be a really cool way for them to mix things up with this update. Can't say I'm really expecting them to do anything like that, but you know. I'm just saying, I've got ideas. Valve, you know, shoot me an email, we'll talk. Oh, Coddle. Coddle. Coddle! Okay. It's okay, I got your back, bro. You can stand wherever the hell you want. I am not casting Dragon Tail on a creep. Are you nuts? That is a waste of mana and coddle. Or I guess we do have the coddle here. I guess I don't. Yeah, they're not letting us shop, so it doesn't even matter if we get last hits at this point. Let's just speed this up. Auto attack everything. You know, just because I have enough mana to cast my two skills doesn't mean that you can't give me some more. Um, are you telling me not to go for last hits anymore? Because that's, kind of, that's also kind of bad advice, Coddle. 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 Coddle! Oh my god! Oh, Coddle is immortal. Okay. My bad. I'd, pr I'd probably tank creeps, too, if I couldn't ever die. Cuddle, by the way, is just sort of a keeper, or, you know, the, abbrevia the br abbreviated name for Ezalor. Cuddle standing for uh, Cuddle of the Light. It's one of them, whatchamacallums, uh, recursive acronyms. That actually, jo that that joke doesn't work so well. Whoops! Thank you for not letting me level up my fire breath there, tutorial. Yeah, that joke, that coddle of the light joke doesn't work so well when keeper of the light is his name is like printed right there on screen for everyone to see. Oh, use it right now, and then he'll come. Okay, that's cool. I also often razor, razor. Razor! I'm over here! Oh, this is just so dishonorable. Oh well. 
I don't I don't feel good about that. It's just not nice. Beating up on a I won't use the R word, but I'm sure you guys are all thinking it. What is this? Oh lore. A lore book. How how fancy. Okay, and here, here's the... No, here's the second one, Sharp Eye the Sniper. We will be introduced to ranged combat, area of, area of effect abilities, the mini-map, towers, couriers and the stash, and the teleportation scroll. And we learn a little bit about Sniper there, too. That, that seems like a good set of things to uh, learn, you know, sort of after a basic movement, shopping, last-hitting tutorial basic control type thing. Yeah, that's, that seems like a good list of things to learn next. I am I am excited for this. And oh, that map Sniper looked cool here. that I saw Time for a second. For okay. <gasps> Tidehunter. Oh, why thank you. I don't know why I'm at such low health, and I kind of wish that you guys wouldn't have given me level one... Oops. Given, just automatically given me level 1 stats again, but... Wow, well, Sniper's base damage is so bad at level 1. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, experience level 2. That'll let us learn headshot and occasionally get random headshots on creeps, which we will probably need for last hits. Okay. Gonna get all these last hits. There's, like, no excuse. I've got... Oh, okay. Mis misclicking horribly is a good, pretty good excuse. On the plus side, his att sniper's attack animation is really good. I, I have played sniper a couple times in uh, in uh, PvP games. Ooh, nice oh. shrapnel. Oh, did it? <laughs> it's, it's showing my recommend the recommended skill order from my the last guy that I had selected. Okay. Well, there's no coddle here to uh, replenish our mana, but you know, I'm sure they'll do something to let us spam our skills as much as we want. Okay. So, oh, god damn! What? Look at all that money. We're rolling in the dough. Oh, look at that map. This is a nice-looking location. Look at all this stuff. Are we going to explore all this? This could be a long tutorial. I might, not, I might not have the hard drive space to do this all in one video. Cool, so then up here... I don't see a tide hunter. Oh. Yeah, I'll follow you guys. Yeah, a bit of shopkeeper. That's the shopkeeper's bird. I don't know why the shopkeeper is... Again, with that, that Radiant Team bias. There's no, no reason for the shopkeeper's bird to be helping out the Radiant in particular. He is he is a neutral party. They sell, He sells to both sides. Um, or Actually, if I kill all these creeps, then the tower will focus uh, Tidehunter. So, yeah, good job there, buddy. Get some, how about some shrapnel? Oh, my! Die, 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 die. Oh. That was unfortunate. My aim is truer than ever. So, I am... I have, like, more last hit money than God at this point, so... Yeah, no need to really go for last hits. I think I'm just gonna auto-attack constantly to speed this up. And I hope there's some way for me to get some mana. Oh god, I'm in some trouble. I do not think that this passive here is useful whatsoever in the situation they have set before us, but you know, just do what they tell us. It's a pro good idea to expose the new players to as many different abilities in one tutorial as they can. It would be nice if I could go shopping. Is there a shop around here? There it is. That's all. All blacked out. I think, did it say they were going to teach us about couriers? Or the stash? Hmm. 
That was kind of bullshit that I didn't get a single headshot proc while he was teleporting out. Like, yeah, that was a... should have been a guaranteed kill on the Tidehunter there. Okay. Can I retrieve them here? Or is the stash... stash is by the shop. I'll go... oh! I can't... I can't read your text while we're move. you're moving. Okay. Good ring of protection. Okay. That's a good sniper item as well. I don't know why you're only telling me to buy two items when I could buy... Like, what, what could I buy? Ooh! Sniper got a new portrait since the last time I... noticed... looked at Sniper. Grab all. It is not... I, I'm a freaking hard carry. It is not my job to buy a courier. It's like, yeah, I could buy... I could probably buy... Can I buy a Shadow Blade? No. I, get, I could get half of a Shadow Blade. The whatchamacallit, Broadsword. Okay. Good. Now we have a mission. Assassinate, assassinate the Tide Hunter. The bridge nearby? I, I like this. This is like I'm playing like a really boring StarCraft mission. Like, you know, the kinds of like hero missions in StarCraft. Well, aha! Fuck you, Tide Hunter. Uh oh. Yeah, so we will. Personally, I th I think he was in auto attack range. What is it? 75 range. Does that apply when I mouse over this? 625. That looks like 620. Oh, over here, another shop. Maybe a secret shop. Oh. Two arcane boots. Yep, that's my usual sniper build. Okay. Do you sell energy boosters? There you are. Seriously? Um. No, oh, I gotta, I gotta right click, right, right. Gotta, gotta buy the item in exactly the way they tell us to. I guess it's an active item. So yeah, that's a good way to teach about active items. Although. They, they could have... Phase Boots, I think, would have worked just as well for teaching us about active items. Uh, that, that's a curious and interesting question. Are new players, like, going to be getting the wrong idea about Sniper based on the item choices in this tutorial? Will, like, people play this tutorial and then go out and play it? Sniper, their very first game of Dota, and then Rush, a Ring of Protection, and Arcane Boots. I, be I bet you at least, like, 50,000 people will do exactly that. In the long run. Actually, with Arcane Boots, I can probably spam my Q now. Maybe that's where they're going with that. Maybe, maybe this is the new meta. Actually, I should be... Oh, all that gold. Upgrade to Ring of Basilius. Courier. Okay. Deliver items. And Courier is go! Can I upgrade him? I do have the money for it. Check the mini-map. Should, should I be reading this text out, li out loud? It should be... I guess it's too late to do that now. I, I am sort of trying to, you know, go through the tutorial like a normal first-time player. See what's actually going on here. I've, I've trying, been trying to go out of my way to read all the text, to myself at least. But Alt-W to toggle the aura off. I don't know why we want to do that. We are pushing. But uh, I'll turn it back on. I think we want to push. Uh, I love Sniper's little laugh that he does when he casts that skill. Okay. Oh wow, we're really close to six now, actually. 
Good timing. I, I think this tutorial is somewhat better paced than the last one. I, c I could do without uh, waiting for the courier there, but... Teleport. Need a flying courier. Create the courier through the shop and get a TP scroll. Right, that would be... So if you move, it'll cancel the cast. That's... I, I, don't I know it. That's something I've done by mistake a lot of times in the past. Okay, teleport to any building, Alt-E, and then left-click on the mini-map. Back to safety of the tower. Whoop! Over here. I didn't think he was going to say something, like, right there, right after... Okay. And I'll bet he hasn't replenished any of his HP. Where did he... Oh, okay, that was up here on the bridge. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 150, he's dead. Pow! Nice. Mission accomplished. Is that it? Congratulations, I am a true marksman. Long will my name be remembered. And we got a page in our lore book. Yes. Awesome. So that, that's kind of a neat little incentive to play the tutorials, too. Yeah, I... I that was a good tutor tutorial, I think. I mean, you know, apart from arcane boots on sniper. Ha ha ha. But yeah, you learn about the courier and a few, a few different items and the TP scroll, like... For, for reals, the most important in item in the game. Two oh. teams face each other across a vast battlefield. The teams, called Radiant and Dire, are each made up of five players. Whichever team is able to destroy the opposing team's ancient will claim victory. Across the battlefield are scattered a number of important locations, from monster-infested jungles to the river which divides the team's starting territories. As the match begins, each player chooses a hero from a diverse roster and then spends their starting gold on a handful of inexpensive items. Within oh, each base <laughs> are three sets of barracks, where uncontrollable units, called creeps, march forth. These creeps progress down one of the three lanes toward the enemy base. They just send axe mid. Each lane is protected by three defensive towers, which will attack advancing creeps or heroes. In the early stages of battle, heroes have yet to gather their strength, and may wish to travel with their creeps, for protection from enemy creeps and other forces. As the battle continues, heroes kill enemy creeps and enemy heroes to gain gold and experience. This will allow them to gain power and begin assaulting the enemy team's outer defensive towers. Ooh, this is exciting. Ooh, damn! Oh, I think he's... Damn, that's a dead hero. This'll be two dead heroes. Shit! So much for Radiant, Bias. Ha! Get owned. Oh, and they're gonna get, get a tower out of this, too. I don't know what they wanted to teach us there. I guess just, we're watching a movie. Get a bit of drama and excitement there. Oh, we're back in engine. The river is the source oh, no, of we're runes. Not. Runes provide temporary but powerful bonuses. Heroes may sometimes find it safer to attack neutral creeps in the jungles. 
Or they may gather to assault the mighty Roshan in his lair, hoping to harvest his resurrecting Aegis of Immortality. I always thought the aid was silent. In time, a team will become powerful enough to advance their forces into the enemy base, where they may destroy the enemy barracks to grant themselves mega creeps in that lane. Oh man, they're, they're going Once for it. they have breached the enemy's inner defenses, the team must attack and destroy the Ancient to claim victory. GG pushing right after the first racks, like a bunch of bosses. What's with the green circles under everything? Is that an option for new players? Does that help? I'm a true spectator. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> okay, so that, yeah, that actually teaches... Because, yeah, before this, we didn't actually get to, like, the real Dota and learn how the game is actually played. Oh, and we've got... And we there's still more. So, yeah, it was... I thought that might have been just, like, you know... I heard two or three new tutorials. I thought it just meant, like, one or two, but... Okay, um... So, we're going to split things up here and... Take a quick break, and when we come back, more training!